folks were back. You see the enforced, or excuse me, you see Vaughn Creed and the store continue their matchup for the West Coast Championship here. This guy can definitely see a lot of back and forth action as Max Fun gets back into the ring. And uh, Vaughn Creed, a sit at simple close on his damn near decapitated the destroyer. And what's he gonna do here? Look at that Canadians style backbreak on the destroyer. Oh, he's gonna fall up with this! That spine shatters, shattering the destroyer spine, that huge ass spine buster. Oh, this has gotta be it. And the destroyer somehow getting his show up at the last second. Yeah, this fight definitely gonna seriously require some injuries up by the end of it. Speaking of injuries, I've got a word that the force has suffered a back injury. We'll have to get put that you got sick to the Spanish announce table and I got taken out in the ambulance during the commercial and and by and despite of it, the enforcer will not be able to be will be will not be able to show that claim to fame as he'll probably have to be in the hospital. I'm not gonna say he'll be bedridden for at least a few weeks. Unfortunately the owner of the UW himself will not be able to be in attendance here in U at claim to fame. This Phil will be running a, another CPV once again. And how fitting is it that a, a Phil's best known acquisition according to him is going to be making his debut against the best player in the main event for the, for the UW Championship. That's the story that spin out power bomb. Getting momentum here on the Von Creed. The story only getting a two count that time. Now, oh my god, Von Creed with a cheap this European uppercut on the referee. Referee not having it. For some reason decides not to disqualify him. And look at this. No, back outside once again. And the story that huge move off the top rope. And gosh, I almost saw referee Robert Sweeney's arm hit the, or hit the map, but I guess Von Free guys show up at the very last possible second. Dean Rock, like, oh, look at Von Free, this Aquinas, the toes, those, those steel toed boots to the face of the destroyer. Now he's got him in his headlock, just took the life out of him, like, turns it into a side rushing leg sweep. Going up top, strong motionless here in the middle of the ring. Von Creek can feel it. The double leg drop cemented on the sternum. Destroyer and continuing the punishment here. And going on the opposite end of the side of the ring. Trying to go up top again. He's going to try to do this flipping course to remote salt here. He nails it perfectly. Wait, he's going up for a second time. Are you kidding? Destroy move out the way! Thank the crowd here. What are you doing here? Oh, he's gonna go up for that course with Moose again! Oh, wow! Are you serious? Oh, not! Are you kidding me? He's gonna score on no turns and then that Kamlanian Cyclone! My goodness, what? How the hell did he manage to pull that off? And the Destroyer gets victorious as the new West Coast champion God this would a match here's your winner and we West Coast champion the destroyer now out goes to the underground championship and in comes the West Coast championship and now the destroyer two-time West Coast champion and a huge way to end the match here a Kimonian cyclone and it's sort of finally getting the last up on a story or let's go show a ritual replay of most of this matchup here until the spine shatter delivered onto the, onto the story. This could have been the, the how the match ended, but somehow the Von Creed has shocked as the rest of us as the story got his show up before for three. And this is that huge ass course screw moves on the top up and he tries to go for it a second time and then this happens. As the so he gets up, catches him, 
and it goes right into the Kimonian Cyclone. And that's all she wrote, folks. As a destroyer, the huge winning against Von Kratos just two weeks before claiming the fame, before the fans' choice match. And the destroyer getting the last slap on Von Kratos after Von Kratos instantly attacked Twine. That's backstage. And this prevails. And now, the destroyer is once again the West Coast champion. And for sort of huge has been hope you all join us for playing a fame on the Tuesday, December 29th for the last CPV of the decade, the last CPV of 2009. It's gonna be a great way to, so it's gonna be a 2009, it's gonna go on a bang. And folks, I hope you enjoyed us tonight. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed a great holiday season. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. We wish all you happy holidays here from the UWA. I'm Rock Dog, this is Lucian. We wish you the best of luck in the, in the 2010. Have a happy new year. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rock Dog, this is Lucian. So long, we'll see you at Claim the Fame.